Hi, I'm Sheldon, and uh, I'm going to go over Tile Studio, how we can use it for AGK for creating uh, some 2D games. Um, so I'll go over the interface. This is basically me just loading it up. It, it starts on this page. Um, it defaults to 32 by 32 tiles. Um, so we're going to go File, New Tile Set. Or to save some time here, I'm just going to load that ninja tile set that I made. Okay. Um, so this is a 16 by 16 tile set. Um, if you want to create more characters, you would just go file, new tile set. And we'll call this, I don't know, ninja 2 or something. Um, make the tiles the same size, 16 by 16. say OK. So now we got two different tile sets. Um, some simple controls with the editor. Um, the arrow keys will actually cycle through all of your tiles that you've created. Okay, So you can see I've done all these animations for my little ninja. Um, if we go to my new tile set, we'll use this one for drawing the actual scene for the maps. Um, I don't really much care for this uh, this color scheme here, so we'll go to the palette and change it to 256 colors. Uh, it's a little bit easier to work with this color palette. Um, so first off, these these tools here are pretty similar to the old paintbrush. Um, select your thing here and just draw away. Um, you can see on the side here it shows you what it looks like if it was tiled. Uh, so you can try to make um, um, images that are tileable that actually look good tiled. Uh, this, this helps to, to be able to do that. Um, we'll just paint the inside there. Okay. To create another tile, um, use the arrow key just to move it over one. Um, if you wanted to just modify the first tile and have it as a second, um, some shortcuts on the keyboard. Uh, Control C will copy. So if I hit Control C and I go to this one and hit Control V, then it pastes it. Okay, um, so now we got two tiles that are exactly the same. I'll just change the color of this one. It will make it gray. Okay. Um, now we're gonna. I'm just gonna go over the animation stuff. So with my character here, if you want to see what the animation looks like, you can either just toggle through using the arrow keys or you can actually um, set your first frame and then you can move over through the sequence and then you can say set last frame and then you can hit play. Um, to speed up the animation that it's playing I believe it was up and down yeah press up to make it go a little faster to see what it looks like to see if it's a clean animation or not you kind of get an idea down here how clean it is as well right okay so that animation looks okay so we can stop the animation um, maybe we want to test out his animation of crawling up a wall so I'll, I'll put it up set that as the first frame and set that as the last frame. Oh, I think I missed one. <laughs> I'll stop that. Okay, so this is the first frame. Set first frame. And this should be the last frame. Oh, except that that frame is the exact same one. So what we'll do is just use this as the last frame. 
There you go. And we can slow it down. I think it looks like he's crawling up something anyways. So that's good. Okay. So we got all these animations I did here. Even, even attacking using his sword. Okay. We got him dying and so on. Um, so now when you have a tile set like this, you can go file export tiles okay um, I usually leave this stuff alone uh, your transparent color though you need to set that correctly um, right now I'm using black okay and just hit export and we'll put that on the desktop uh, we'll save it as a PNG file well for this this example we'll just do um, we might as well just do the, the bitmap for the moment. <clears throat> we'll call this Test Ninja. Save. So now we go on my desktop here, and I've got this tile, this actual Atlas texture, um, Atlas image that you can pull your character out of. So these are just 16 by 16 tiles. Okay, so that's how you create your uh, Atlas tile set. Um, going through this again, you would do the same thing for your um, for your actual level tiles. Um, you can export the same thing into an Atlas texture. Um, so now I'm going to go into the actual map portion of it. So you can go view toggle tile map editor. So it switches your editing. So you're going into a map. You're editing a map. Uh, so I'm going to go file new map. And we'll call that map one. And we'll say we have 64 tiles by, I don't know, 20. And hit OK. So now we've got our, our little 64 by 20 map set here. So now I can just select these tiles down here and draw away. This could be our, our level easy enough. Okay. Once you have a map, I'll just draw this... Uh, Briefly here, just <laughs> okay. Anyways, there's there's. I'm just gonna do this quickly. Um, I could uh, actually. What I should do. I should make something so I can test the. Uh, wall climbing. So we'll just do some of that. Maybe this can come down here. Okay. Okay, so this is going to be the map that I'm going to export. I know it's pretty crappy, but whatever. This is just a quick example of how this is done. Um, so what I'll do now, I'll save this. I'll save my project. I'll save it as Ninja Tile Set. Okay. Um, now that we have this map, you can go map export map and what we're gonna do is use 32-bit one based and what one based means is that your first tile will be registered as ID 1 if you use zero based that means your first tile is zero and if there is in fact no tile it'll register on the file as negative one. Um, 
So I use one bit based, which means tile one is tile one. Um, we can save this as test map, and I'll just save this on the desktop, and I'll hit save. Um, so I'm gonna go. I'm gonna cut this video and I'll load it in again once I have it in code to show you how to load it in, and uh, and we'll take it from there. All right.